What's up guys, Chasing Lamey here with episode number 133 of Welcome to Roxham, and today we go into the first of our double header League Cup semi-final against Arsenal again, and it's time to put another curse to rest. So, without any further ado, like, subscribe, ring the bell, I'll see you on the other side, let's go get this done. So since we last met in this game against West Ham, we got through the quarterfinals, of course, to get to the semi-final. We lost 3-2 at home to Liverpool with goals from Tiam and Gomar unable to help us out to get the win. We beat Nottingham Forest 5-1 at the City Ground with goals from Anthony Gordon, Ibrahim Esila, a brace from Emre Teshka and a goal from Raul Walters. We have beaten Fulham 4-2, goals from Gelladini. Uh, Tezgel and Gonzalo Giardini getting a brace that time. We beat Manchester City 2-1 at home with goals from Tiam and Tezgel to bring us up to date. In the Premier League, we currently sit in fourth place, which is quite tidy. We've also got a couple of games in hand over Manchester City. We could conceivably finish above or get ourselves above them if we win the games in hand. We could even get ourselves up there with Liverpool, but of course our goal difference would have to be absolutely ridiculous. There's also a little bit of transfer news on the uh, outs to tell you about, or potentially on the outs. We have got, the big ones we need to highlight really are Ryan Evans, uh, Al Saad from, I guess, Saudi Arabia are bidding £6 million for him, and Abdullah Etiam, £81 million has been bid for him by Borussia Dortmund, and as good as he is, I can replace him for far less money than that, and I'm already working on it by bidding for Vitinha as our stopgap for the rest of the season, and we'll see how... Uh, see how we go with him so until we can find someone permanent in the summer. I think we can keep ourselves in the top four. I think Patinia, he's 33, but I think we ought to look at his uh, his abilities. His goal rate takes also 145 goals in 342 games across his career. He is a quality striker, and I think even as a stopgap, he should at least get us a few goals to help us move on with... Uh, our quest to win the Premier League and indeed the Europa League this season. Without any further ado, I think we should go and see what's going on in today's game against Arsenal and meet the team sheet. So we're away in the first leg and I've picked our big game players again. Garda in goal, Yusuf Strecker, Marcato and Marais out the back. Saya Emery plays behind Gonzalez and Sanchez. Gamar burns on the wings and Tiam potentially for the last time starts up top for us. We've got Kalaric who's also underbid from Al Shabab in uh, in Saudi Arabia. Norley, Jeladini, Richie, Dorrington, Teshkel, Gordon, Angeloni are still on the bench. Although Teshkel is uh, is slightly uh, slightly crook, so I think what we'll do is uh, we'll give him the uh, the weekend off, I suppose, and we will. So many players appearing. You can see, uh, Rule, sorry, Rule Waters. I was like, what? Rule Waters go. Rule Waters is injured. I remember him being injured. Sorry, it's been a few days since I last. Did anything with the game, we'll stick Ryan Evans on the bench, we'll firm that, and I'll see you in the dressing room. So in the dressing room, wants us to say there's no pressure on any of us today, go out and play with that freedom. I don't think that's a good way forward. I think we're going to say get a result here that puts us in a good position for the return leg. I'm going to tell everyone that I want to see a good defensive performance, I want to see us dominate the midfield, and I want to see goals from Abdullah Etiam because it could be his last chance to do it. Hopefully our talent you looks good on that score. We have got a great Arsenal side against us with Evan Ferguson still up top with them. Just that whole team is slightly ridiculous and uh, definitely good enough to put some put a number past us, to be honest. I am hoping for the second leg we get the return of Raw Waters. Of course, we signed him after the last time we played Arsenal in a semi-final because he absolutely took us apart. And I'd like it if he could return the favour for us. But Bravo is going to take an early throw in for Arsenal to Sergio Ricardo, to Evan Ferguson into the box, looking for an opportunity to goal. Turns his man, and Garda is very much equal to it. <laughs> We've given Arsenal a corner. As I get unnecessarily too excited. Vidovic to take this one. Plays it across nicely. Short corner, and it's straight into that from Seibald. And we have got some work to do. I think that could be time to fire the boys up and hopefully get a result out of them. Really good short corner. Seibald had no one near him. Fires it low into the far corner. And really, that's all you can ask of any player picking up the ball in a position like that. So, you know, such is life. We're 1-0 down. 
Throw in now for Arsenal with Katora taking it to Sergio Ricardo. Back to Katora to doubt. We have got to get our, our act together here as Saibal plays it to Vidovic. Vidovic back to doubt. Doubt has time. Goes all the way back to his goalkeeper. Tiam's not going to chase down Stanimirovic. There we go. Uh, Katora to Bravo. Bravo has uh, just no one pressuring him, really. Gamar should be doing more to get that pressure on us. Stanimirovic puts the ball forwards. And uh, phew, Garda brings it down. He's, uh, he's not trusting his centre-half. Zaire Emery to Burns to Sanchez. Sanchez through ball to Tiam. Tiam is through. And Abdullah Tiam gets his 14th goal of the season. Potentially his last goal in rocks and colours. Although, if he turned down the bid from Dortmund, I would not be upset. But frankly, I have a feeling he's probably going to go to Dortmund for the Champions League football. Great through ball from Sanchez. Tiam on side and slides it across the goalkeeper into the far side of the net. And one all, one all for Arsenal and Rocks on that right now. So it's half time here at the Emirates. It's still one all and uh, things are looking good. You're doing well. Keep working hard till full time. It has worked a treat, but we're going to have to tell our wingers to uh, maybe just be a little bit better. Just focus a little bit more. Anyone else need to tell, need to tell you? To, not really. Uh, we will do a point of the finger and a you've not been good enough so far. Get it together. And I'm going to tell Jorge Moraes just to avoid getting himself sent off. Hopefully he'll calm down a bit. And we can get ourselves back on top for the second half. And hopefully get ourselves a win to take home with us. As Vidovic picks up the ball, plays it back to Scali. Scali goes across to Silva Oliveira. But Burns picks up the ball. Interception. Zaire Emery loses the ball to Vidovic. And now we're in trouble as Marcato gets pulled aside and Ferguson can't quite finish it. But we really need to be better in the second half. Gonzalez is knackered and we have to take him off very shortly as Vidovic now with a corner into the box. Let's get rid of this. We have done good stuff by Marcato and Burns chasing it down. We won't see the, the counter apparently because that would be too much fun. Caught a throw now with Moraes. And hopefully he'll find his man here to Sanchez. Back to Moraes. You should be able to get a crossover. Burns to Sanchez. Sanchez hopefully cuts it back. Does, but Bravo is intercepting. Tiam! Vidovic throws his body in the way. And we have got ourselves a corner. And hopefully we can get ourselves ahead from the corner here. Ball goes into the box. And Marcato heads it straight to the keeper. Cleared by Joe Scali. And they are very much looking like they're under pressure from us right now. Corner down for us. I've sent some subs to liven things up for us. Anthony Gordon is one of them. Also put Tom Ritchie on on the left-hand side. Gelladini and Silla have come into the midfield as Marcato plays it back to Gordon. Sanchez. Sanchez with a pop. Saved by the Arsenal keeper. Ritchie back to Anthony Gordon who puts it away. Joe Scally, in fact, has been given an own goal there, which is even better for us. We get to slightly embarrass him. I'm going to take off Marais just to protect him from a second yellow card. We'll send an Angeloni, see how that looks in slightly slower motion. And uh, it was Richie back to Gordon, and it does come off the back of Scally. A little bit unfair, giving him the, uh, the own goal there, but it doesn't really matter. As long as the ball goes in and we can hold on to it, I'm going to feel pretty good about this particular performance. As uh, Arsenal now with a throw with Scally, who will be looking to redeem himself to Ferguson. Scally with a cross, looking for Katora, headed over the goal. And we're going to praise the boys now, because we genuinely need to hold on to this for the second leg. Four minutes of injury time, and uh, one of their players, Vidovic, has got himself injured. They've just started making subs this late in the game. So that's extending the injury time, but it looks like we've got the job done here. It's a 2-1 win away at the Emirates in the first leg, which is quite the performance for us. Uh, everyone thought we'd lose. We've proven them wrong. Good stuff. Let's carry on. And we are one game away from a League Cup final, which is quite special for us. We have got this, uh, this uh, West Ham game in the middle and a friendly just in there to make things a little bit more concerning. I'll go through all of that after uh, after I've wrapped up the episode. We're going to come back for the second leg. I'm going to skip the West Ham game because I couldn't be less concerned by it. Uh, it'll be nice to win it, but I feel like two cup competitions is probably enough for us to be focusing on right now. So we'll come back for the second leg, where hopefully we'll be in a good position. And we'll come back. That's got black. Well, hopefully we'll come back. There we go. That worked. And, uh, yeah, we'll get ourselves into the League Cup final. Wembley final for Wroxham would be nice. 
Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I have, as always, been chasing Lane. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. And as I said, as I said until next time, I've been chasing Lane. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.